Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I got a special treat for you guys today and that's going to be the Domino's 5 Meat Meats of Pizza. I think it's got like pepperoni, bacon, sausage, salami, beef, you know, the whole works, the whole, all the good stuff right now. Um, and I haven't had Domino's in probably about six months, um, just when I moved back. There were no Domino's where I moved back home, so that was definitely something that I really missed out, and I'm really excited to try again, and let me tell you, it was just as delicious as I remembered it. Throw up a little flex there for you. Oh yeah, we're having some good times here. Now, kind of the point of me making these videos and, you know, me just sitting in a room eating pizza, drinking Diet Coke, that's a little bit weird, yeah. Let me tell you why I'm doing this. Um, I want to be straight up be completely transparent and honest with you guys you know when I said in my first video how I lost all my weight you know I was eating junk food I was eating pizza cakes burgers just whatever I could get my hands on and I just want to be truthful there's no trying to sell you some program or supplement there's no I don't know trying to deceive you trying to like fake eat you know this is how i really do eat week in and week out you know obviously i'm not eating this much every single meal every single day um i had just worked out here i, I like to work out fasted now that i'm not in a deficit i find now that i'm adequately fueling my body uh i can wake up first thing in the morning maybe take a little pre-workout which is going to be a lot more effective too now that i'm taking it on an empty stomach and really get a nice solid focused session in um build up a bit of an appetite and then eat a nice big meal before i go into work so i kind of have this timing down pat you know i, I like to eat a really nice big meal to start the day and then once maybe about five or six hours once i start getting a little hungry again that's when i eat you know kind of a solid later lunch and then, you know, a couple hours later, get a nice little protein-rich, smaller snack in. Um, and then off to bed, you know, maybe four or five hours later. I don't really like to eat before going to bed. I find that, you know, when the digestion starts kicking in, um, it's just going to keep you up. It's going to kind of give you a little bit of that energy boost just from starting to digest your food, especially if you're eating a lot of carbs. Um I like to say carbs are going to be get carbs, which is why I don't eat them after a certain period um, later in the night. And obviously, it's it's not because, you know, you're going to store them as fat or they somehow magically produce more calories. No, it's just when your body's running a little lower at the end of the day on energy and you get your energy sources through carbs, you, your body's going to want to continue eating carbs and it's going to kind of want you to fill up and seek out these carbs so that's why i try to limit them there's no real reason other than that it's not some insulin response or fat storage no 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 it's, it's just simply I, li I like to eat a nice you know chicken breast with some veggies or maybe some shrimp and dip or just even just a protein shake nothing too crazy before bed uh and i feel that that's a really good sustainable healthy uh, eating pattern for me now kind of going forward uh, if you guys didn't know I had just lost almost 70 pounds I was 253 I have a picture somewhere I was like 253 something um, that was fully clothed though I will admit um, so it was 253 with clothes on and then I got down to 181 um, exactly 181.0 and that was my like absolutely leanest right in the morning so when you account for weight like fluctuations water not eating that's that's gonna put me right around 65 pounds that were actually lost um and i've regained about four or five pounds so i'm, I'm waking up right around 187 186 187 um these past few days so which is which is you know fantastic for me um especially you know i'm really not restricting that much i still am tracking a little bit just to make sure that i'm eating enough um in order to fuel my workouts I've, I've just become so disciplined these past few months that i'm i'm used to almost ignoring my hunger signals 
So that's something I definitely do need to work on. And, you know, it, it's making these videos too. It's going to be almost therapeutic for me. Um, you know, and to keep me honest, not just with you guys, you know, to show you what I mean, just keeping me honest with myself, you know, I need to stick to this plan and, you know, to showing that I can do this every day. Um, you know, it's, it's just not sustainable for me uh, to be that lean as I got to. Um, I'd love to, but just especially there's no real need to right now. It's, you know, the middle of winter. Nobody's going out to the beach, going out to the lake, that kind of thing. Um, I do have wrestling season coming up, so hopefully that doesn't get canceled um, in the weight class. I, I do 184, so I can be at like 190 even. And then just do a water cut, cut out carbs and sodium the day before and easily make weight. So that's definitely not an issue. I'm glad, you know, I got to the weight now where I can just comfortably maintain. There's no real reason to go on a bulk. I feel this is a, a perfect weight for me just to kind of maintain, make some slow progress from here. You know, nice and steady, uh, focus a lot more on the strength aspect. I feel like that's something I can really start pounding home. Now that I'm feeling my body adequately, I'm able to recover. I'm not cutting into my sleep. That was one of the big things that was really towards the end, um, making this cut extra hard, was I was sleeping, you know, five, maybe six hours. If I'm lucky, I was just tired constantly. But being hungry for so long and so often is really going to mess up your sleep. And that's definitely something I do not miss about being shredded and it's a lot of fun, but especially I don't compete, you know, bodybuilding wise. I'm not competing in any weight class right now, at least. So I have real no reason to maintain that weight. More just, you know, kind of hover around it, stay within striking distance. And then, you know, within a week or two, I could easily get back down there. But I don't really see a need to. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying um, getting my strength back, you know, I've been setting PRs every single workout. I really haven't gained much weight back. Um, I do look a lot softer, and I do feel a little bit more bloated, and that's not really any fat. That's just due to extra carbs, being stored as glycogen, eating more sodium, holding more water. So I'm not, not too concerned about that, but it's it's a really good you know, a couple months I have in store, I'm also going to be able to get back any lost muscle that I, you know, could have lost over these past few months. And it really wasn't a lot, maybe a pound or two of actual muscle mass, like the lean contractile tissue that I lost. I really didn't experience too many strength losses or muscle loss. And that, that's because I was feeling my body. I think a lot of people they 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 go these crazy crash diets, you know, eating a thousand, fifteen hundred calories, which you know, for a fully grown adult, and you're trying to keep your muscle, that's that's just way too little. That's way not enough energy to get you through your workouts and through your days. Um, at the beginning of my weight loss, I was averaging about twenty four, twenty five hundred calories. A day I'd say for the first few months and you know the weight was just shedding off right there because uh, I, I was you know 250 pounds I was burning at least 4,000 calories a day just with my job just how active I am and how big I am um, I had no problem getting the weight off and it wasn't too much of a challenge um, just because I, I was I had so much extra fat stored to begin with I you know I didn't really see a too much of a drop in the gym, just a little bit strength-wise, and that was more due to sticking to some higher volume, higher rep sets, um, just in order to counteract kind of that little drop in strength, you need to up the reps range just so you can keep your volume the same, because volume is going to be what grows your muscle, volume is going to be the driver for hypertrophy, um, and it's really hard to kind of measure muscle loss. You know, when you're losing strength, you can clearly see in concrete numbers where if you lift, you know, 100 pounds one day and then you lift 90 pounds the next day, 
then obviously you've gotten stronger. But with muscle mass, it's going to be a little different because, you know, you're going to lose some water right away. So you're going to you're gonna look a little flabby, a little soft when you first start losing weight. And then slowly and slowly you're going to kind of start getting more cuts, get that more chiseled look. And actually, even if you do lose a little bit of muscle, just the way, you know, the cuts are going to accentuate your muscles, the way the light hits in the shadows, you're going to look a lot bigger than when you were actually bigger. And it, it's hard to tell if you had actually lost any muscle or if you actually did maintain and now you, you do are able to show that muscle without, you know, getting a DEXA scan or doing an MRI. And even those, those are off, those are wrong. Those can be affected in numerous ways just by your hydration levels, how much food you have inside of you at the time of the test. So it's really hard to tell, but I always tell people, just get leaner. Um, Even if you do lose muscle, you are going to look so much better. And that's kind of what I had to keep telling myself. Every time I thought I was done cutting, I would start upping the calories, start bulking again, and really just wasn't happy. And every time I just kept going, kept pushing through, you you, you look better and better. And you can tell uh, as the weeks go by and as you see in the pictures and the progress, you can you can really tell. Um, once you kind of hit that, I'd say about 12 to 15 percent, um, and that's going to be dependent on person to person, obviously. That's when it really starts hitting a breakthrough, and that's where you can really see that muscle start showing through. Once you get that full six-pack, and once you start getting the separation, you know, in the chest and the delts and even in the legs, um, it really makes a huge difference how much better you look. And especially as I, I'd say I got probably single digit, I'd say I was around 9 10% at my leanest which for me is like you know absolutely the lowest i could probably handle and probably go for a while um that's just way too lean for me um to maintain year round and i have you know amazing genetics like one in a thousand when it comes to muscle building um i put on muscle so easily i don't see very many people at all um, in all the gyms that I've been to who can naturally put on as much muscle to me but when it comes to fat distribution and fat wise you know I really drew the short end the straw on that I just I have such a high set point uh such a higher amount of fat cells to begin with it's just not sustainable for me to be that lean and you know that's just something you gotta accept I wasn't meant to be you know some fitness model or bodybuilder you know I'm meant to be big and strong and I'm, you know, really learning to embrace that. And it's hard to gain a little weight back. You don't want to make it feel like you, you're, you're wasting progress. But sometimes, you know, taking a few steps back, you know, that, that's progress in and of itself. You know, you can't just burn yourself out and trying to push yourself to things you weren't meant to be. So I think this is going to be a really good uh, next few months to really put on some muscle, really, you know, push it hard in the gym, really focus on that strength, and we're going to have a great time. We're going to del eat some delicious foods and going to be posting videos pretty much daily, kind of just a, you know, an open, kind of loose, improv discussions about, you know, what I'm feeling for the day, what I'm thinking. So if you guys want to join along with me, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell, get all the notifications follow the Instagram as well. You can see my progress. They're going to be posting maybe a couple times a week. And as always, you should have a good one.